Okay, well we're at the front of the radio, the Elecraft K3S, and I'm going to go through the radio setup first. I struggled with the Elecraft for a little while until I got used to the menu system. And basically there's two levels. The first one to the main menu is just pressing the menu button once. And to get to the configuration, press it and hold it in. And that takes you to the configuration part. So first we want to go into the main menu. And I'm just going to tap this once. And we're going to go through uh, some of the settings. This first one is the mic select. It's line in. And you'll notice that I'm already on data mode. So I'm uh, in the mode. For FT8 and that brings up uh, for mic select the line in and then the next one over is the mic plus line and it's just not applicable so that's the the setting under the menu that you want to pay attention to and then under uh, config I'm going to press and hold to go to config we're going to go to first uh, let's take a look at the line out uh, the line out is 17 and this is the setting that will control how much audio you get into the WSJTX program. Uh, in that program on the right hand side you'll see uh, underneath the uh, power slider you'll see a level and uh, I usually try to set it so it hovers around the center and then when there's no signals coming in at all I want it to be uh, down around the one-third range. So this helps to control it, and this is the, the main one that I use. Uh, the other is going to be in the uh, Windows program or the Windows operating system, and I'll, I'll show you that later. And let's go over to uh, Push to Talk. And... Uh, okay, I've got the KIO3B board in there. And uh, this is how I have push to talk set up. I'll use cat control in WSJTX. And then uh, let's go over to uh, RS232. And I'll show you I've got it set to USB because I have that KIO3B board in there. Transmit monitor. I've got that on because I want to listen to uh, I want to listen to my signal as I'm sending. So I have that set to normal, and that can be controlled by holding in the, the knob down here, the power knob, and uh, setting the uh, monitor level. So when you transmit, you can hear your signal. And I'll go back over to the uh, KIO3B. And uh, that's set to normal. Maybe I should have started with that one. So that's the uh, the menu and the configuration in uh, the Elecraft K3 uh, to be set up for digital modes. And I want to point out on the receiver for receiving digital modes, I've turned off AGC. Normally I have it on fast. And uh, that works fine. Uh, I've used it on fast an awful lot. Uh, but to turn AGC off, uh, just hold in that button and that'll turn it off. And the other two things, the noise blinker and noise reduction, I have those turned off. And the, the filter that I'm using, I've got the 2.8 filter in there. So uh, when I hit my X filter button, it pops up 2.8. And then I'll increase it a little bit. I've got it set to uh, 2.8, 2.9, and then 3. Uh, usually about three um, and I, I usually stay in a pretty uh, narrow range on the, the uh, waterfall so uh, I don't get too far away from the sweet spot but. okay so we've been through the menu system on the Elecraft K3 and now we're getting ready to uh, tune it up for 20 meters and I'm using a high Q antenna on the back of my camper 
and it's similar to a screwdriver uh, that the plunger moves up and down inside of the coil instead of the coil moving up and down on the outside of the antenna so it's a it's a nice antenna but i need to make sure that it's tuned and for me to do that i just uh, press the tune button and my tune power is set for three watts and it's one to one so i'm good there and if you're not on uh, data mode you can just uh, press uh, this button over here to get to data mode you may be in uh, upper sideband and want to get to data mode and just press the button until it gets down to it transmit data and if you have a minus s there uh, synchronous uh, let's see I've got it set up for the PF1 key so if I hold that in it turns it on and I don't normally use that and there's a long explanation for it but I'm going to turn it off here so that's what it looks like transmit data so I have the uh, receiver set up we saw the uh, the line in the configuration it was set to about 17 I believe uh, so when we're transmitting we'll want to use the mic knob and when we use the mic knob we rotate it you'll see that it has a line pop up and I'm usually right around 30 I want my ALC to be on the fifth bar and I use this to uh, uh, to uh, change the uh, uh, ALC or the number of bars that it's that are showing there. And then to change the power output, I just use the power button. And I'm right at 50 watts right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit tune and show you what it looks like. I'm on a free frequency. And there you go. If I wanted to adjust it. The line level there, it's just flickering, and that's probably good right there. That's what they're talking about when they say the fifth one flickering. And then I have an external power meter over to the right, that bird meter, and I, I use it to watch my power output. And I just leave the K3 meter on the ALC. So if I wanted to go back over to power and see how much power I'm putting out, I'll hit tune again right at 50 watts. Go back to ALC. So my uh, uh, everything is set up with the K3. I just need to do some fine tuning on the, uh, the uh, sound card and windows and uh, the power slider in WSJTX I just leave that in the center at about 50 percent okay let's move on to the software okay over at the computer uh, I want to set up the operating system sound and I'm using Windows so I'm going to right click and go to sound settings and then when that comes up the first place I'm going to look is the speakers and the speaker volume is set at 50. Now the speakers, that's the output, the USB audio codec, that's the output of uh, FT8 when I'm using WSJTX or it'll be the output of the data mode that you're using. And right now mine's set at 50 and this correlates to the uh, mic or the, the line on the Elecraft K3. So if you rotate the, the mic knob uh, that will adjust the line and you can adjust the ALC that way so okay I have my power meter at halfway that's that controls the uh, the output also but it's at halfway this is at 50 percent and then uh, the mic I believe mine uh, or the line on the Elecraft K3 is around 30 so let's go back to recording you know, the input and uh, the USB audio codec and on the input or the microphone what you're receiving from the radio into WSJTX and this will control this little level meter over here on the left hand side and right now mine is at 10 
and this correlates to the line out under config in the Elocraft K3S. So if you go to config and then to line out, mine is normal and it's at 15. So this will uh, uh, control the, the amount of uh, audio coming into WSJTX. And when there's no signals, I like it to be right around 20 or 30. I think that's what they recommend. And then when there are signals coming in, right around 40 or 50. Okay, now let's, uh, I'm going to bring up my MacBook Air and use it for WSJTX because uh, this computer is uh, really slow right now with my uh, recording software. So. Before we get to the MacBook Air, let me show you how I've got it set up in Windows. I'm going to go to File and Settings. And under General, of course, I have my call sign and grid. I've got the display distance in miles selected. And uh, transmit messages to RX frequency window. And I've got double click on calls to set transmit enabled and calling CQ forces call first. Allow transmit frequency changes while transmitting. And that does it for uh, the general tab, the radio. I'm using the Elocraft K3S. Uh, COM4, that's my uh, uh, cable to the uh, back of the radio, the KIO 3B module on the K3. And uh, all this is default, default, default. And I'm using CAT for push to talk. And under uh, config in the K3S, the push to talk is off. Uh, so I'm using data packet and then uh, fake it. And if I hit test cat, it will turn green, test push to talk, and it keys the radio. No power output when using this one. Okay, and then over to the audio tab. Uh, USB audio codec, as we saw earlier. Uh, microphone and speakers. And then uh, let's go over to reporting. And prompt me to log QSO, uh, enable PSK reporter. Uh, I've got all these checked off as port 2237. And then I've got this one enabled because I use it sometimes 2333. And uh, that really does it. I won't go over any of this. I think it's all pretty much the default. I'll click OK. So now uh, when I hit uh, the tune button, let's see, my power on the radio is set to 50 watts. Uh, let's uh, see what it does when I hit the tune button. Right at five bars. And if I change the mic here, this knob. There, it's just tickling the fifth bar. Just how I like it. Okay, I'm 50 watts out. I've got my trusty bird meter over there. Let's see if you can see it. I watch my power output on it, 50 watts, and I watch my ALC on the radio. So that does it for the Windows, and I apologize, this little laptop is just getting to be too slow. And I'm going to move over to the MacBook Air, which I'm excited about because it's new to me. And uh, I've had MacBooks and uh, I've had Macs before, uh, so I'm really kind of excited to start using WSJTX on it and see how it works. And I'll report to you on that. So uh, continue watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.